come, baby. Just win, baby. Feel the storm of the cold autumn wind, baby. It's the Open Raiders. Get your mouth. Changer, this is something that Jack Del Rio actually hinted to us that he would do. Wanted to pull Derek Carr in kind of a surprise spot. And it seems like everyone's surprised. Play clock is already down to four seconds, but Dwayne was not expecting this. Able to get the playoff in the nick of time. Holding. Yeah. No, he did. It's a holding call against the Raiders. Holding. Offense. Number 71. 10-yard penalty. We play for a staff. Yeah, McGloin, uh, I'm not sure if the communication in his helmet was turned on. It almost looked like, uh, obviously, he was surprised to be put in there in the middle of a drive, but that was Del Rio's plan. He didn't tell anybody but Derek Carr. And he obviously, did not tell McGloin. <laughs> And he told us too, and he told us he swore us to secrecy. Mm -hmm. I know you wanted to tweet it out. Oh, it was tough. I had to get that finger off your phone. <laughs> so here's Matt McGloin, the fourth year man out of Penn State. Hey, He's been entrenched as the backup here. Mm -hmm. He did struggle in a couple of two spot up appearances last season. One of the reasons why Del Rio wanted to kind of surprise him here and thrust him into the game unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And Del Rio says that the Raiders will carry three quarterbacks this year. Connor Cook, the rookie out of Michigan State, we'll see some of him this evening. But uh, they want Cook to sit and learn and mature and grow in this offense behind Derek Carr. The young man has had a pretty good training camp in preseason to this point. Expect to see him a little bit later. Here's with the line on second Sean Spence, who just laid out DeAndre Washington. Well, again, this is a misread by McGloin. You can't throw a ball to a receiver with a linebacker closing on him. The pressure forces uh, McGloin out of the backfield. The bang by Spence, the pick, the scoop there by David Bass, and he walks into the end zone. A good legal shot, too, because he had his head in front of the receiver, Washington. Did not lead with his helmet. The catch the fumble recovered by Jerry Spinney. That play will go into further review. Time out. The fan base that has just been so loyal to this organization over the years. Are here to support the silver and black once again. Here's Washington. Passes across the 30. And dealing with that uh, infield dirt that you had to contend with as a player over the years as well. You like irony, don't you? Sure. Well, how about the Raiders being sold out for every game this season? Their season ticket never before has this happened uh, here in Oakland or in Los Angeles. And the cloud that is hanging over this franchise as to their future, whether it's here in a new stadium or in a new stadium in Las Vegas. Plans are being made for the move. Yeah, really cool. On third and four. Here's Reggie McKenzie after the early pickups taking over as GM, finally building this incredible young nucleus, certainly offensively. They do all that they did in free agency, spending the big bucks, and now you know these fans have the prospect of this franchise being in September, the Hall of Fame legend. Top seat after sharing the defensive responsibilities with Ray Horton last season, right now with the Cleveland Browns. That's <coughs> Kevin Brown, the undrafted rookie on the catch up with this Tennessee defense. Well, they've been solid tonight, uh, holding the Raiders' rushing attack, except for one big run. Uh, they held it intact. There's Casey with the sack, and of course, a big hit by Spence in the scoop and score by David Bass. Lebeau. Last year, actually, the first time in his career as a defensive coach that he was not the play caller. And so all the players and fellow coaches said that uh, both men made the most of it, very respectful of each other. Ray Horton, one of Lebeau's protégés. But uh, now it's, it's back to being Lebeau's show, and that 
usually a good thing for the teams that he's coached over the years. And I've been asked by a number of people, because he's in the Hall of Fame as a defensive back for the Detroit Lions, can't he be in the Hall of Fame as a, one of the great assistant coaches and coordinators of all time? I talked to Joe Horgan back at the Hall of Fame. He said, no. But you're in the Hall of Fame, man. It doesn't matter. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. But he deserves it on, on both, uh, both respects. All those great years as the Steelers defensive coordinator. Or top five defense in 13 of his seasons there. Incredible one he had as Johnny Holton set the catch. As Holton is out to the 40 for an Oakland first down, a pickup of 15. Pretty good fastball by McGloin. In fact, it hits uh, Holton right in the chest. You can hear it hit the plastic shoulder pads there. He hangs on pretty good, but this is a good fastball by McGloin. Second catch for Holton, 32 yards. Jeff Del Rio said that he has made the biggest jump of anyone on this roster from the start of the offseason program to where they're sitting right now. That pass is through the hands of the tight end, Michael Rivera, as it falls incomplete. I'll test your sports knowledge for the chance to win cash with CBS Sports. King of the Street. Just pick one football and baseball game to start competing for the prize this week. Play right now on the CBS Sports app. Clock continues to run down to a buck 12 for me. In this third quarter from Oakland, 27 to 14. Titans in front of the Raiders. 50! Shard the long setback with one from the gun. On second attempt, quick strike. The officials say he's incomplete. Intended for Brent. And once again, penalty markers to throw him. Good job of punching that ball out. Penalty flag. Here's against the Raiders, so. Get out of the player downfield. Offense, number 76. That penalty is declined. He's over the play. It's third down. <laughs> Sims to punch it out. They did not see any Raider downfield illegally. John Feliciano get the, got the call. But it's a tough one on John. On Torbert announces their decision. This is third and ten. The ball going right back to Brent. A little looping throw completes at the Tennessee 40. Raiders first down. They pick up 20. Remember how we talked about the. Uh, and gave away the car and Cooper throw and catch. The anticipation. This was just a perfect throw because the ball is long time in the air before Brent comes out of his break. McGloin gives him enough room to make the catch, get his feet down in bounds, pick up the first down. Beautiful throw. Frankie no, Wake no. Forest product, 23-year-old rookie. Oh, what a catch on after going undrafted. Oh, this is Holton. Holton stays in bounds and he's still on his feet. Nifty run by Holton. Actually a childhood friend of Amari Cooper's back in Miami. Those two are playing flag football when they were around 11 or 12 years old. And Holton, right on that roster bubble, able to run for the first down. 13 yards by Holton, and that puts a smile on the face of Amari Cooper. End of the third quarter in Oakland. We'll return to the Coliseum after this message and a word from the local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. With possession, trailing Tennessee 27-14. Big decision looming for NFL head coaches coming up. His uh, rosters will be cut down from 90 to 75 this coming Tuesday. And one of those players on the bubble is that man, Johnny Holton, for Jack Del Rio. There was a penalty marker thrown right at the end of that quarter. Apparently was a holding penalty. 
unsportsmanlike penalty, I should say. Against Oakland. An unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, we're told, against the Raiders bench. Raiders timeout, quick strike. This is Richard. His car, or McGloin rather, goes underneath. And Richard able to get his way inside the 40. Coming up next Saturday, a marquee matchup between the Aggies of Texas A&M and the UCLA Bruins. The hoopla begins with CBS Sports College Football Special and College Football Today. It's all right here on CBS Sports. Spiro Adidas, Dan Fouts, Tracy Wolfson, and our entire CBS crew from Oakland. The line has to feel the low snap, able to get it to the shard. Richard still going, but uh, he will be marked down at around the 27 yard line. And a pretty good battle between these two, DeAndre Washington and Jalen Richard. Yeah, the first to get up the field, good blocking there. But uh, he felt that his knee was never down, that he would land it on top of the tackler. Take a better look at it here. You can see at five foot uh, eight or so, tough to see. Check out his knees, and right there he is down. Get called by the officials. But no harm in trying, right? And we got a false start there. False start. Offense number 79. Five yard penalty. Third down. A little chance now for some of the backups, third stringers, to get the attention of that man, Jack Del Rio. On the pile on now on that Raiders set. First time we've seen George Atkinson in the running back for Oakland. The third. That's the son of legendary Raiders safety, George Atkinson. Here's Holton again. And Holton now with a penalty marker coming in late. Starting to put his impact on his team. This may be an illegal pick against the Raiders. See the officials coming in and pointing in the Raiders' direction. But that's how the receiver got so wide open. So we're starting to feel like a preseason game now. Pass interference. Offense number 19 was blocking downfield. 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay third down. Yeah, Jaden Mickens is going to be the guilty party here. Number 19, watch, he comes out. He's just going to flat block on the defensive back here. In fact, he's going to hold him. Easy call for the officials. Mickens, the undrafted rookie out of Washington. As that clock begins to run again, coming up on 13 minutes left. Deloitte on the relief of Carr. Attempts last season would start six games back in 2013, and this time he's intercepted. That's a heck of an adjustment to the ball by Kalen Reed. In fact, it was Reed who was being held on the previous play by Jaden Mickens. This time he just cuts in front of the receiver. Wait a nation, let's go, let's go. Wait a nation, let's go. Let's go.